Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another By Request song tutorial. In today's session, I'm going to be getting you ready for the holiday season by breaking down my arrangement of White Christmas. Now this is also another opportunity for me to introduce to you the Journey OF420 guitar. This is a travel instrument with a removable neck. I'll be using this throughout the lesson. And I recently had the opportunity to actually travel with this thing for the first time. Went out to California for the 2018 Patreon. And just having something that I can quickly throw on my back and go, it's easy to carry around as you're standing in lines going through security and can easily fit in the overhead compartment may traveling way less stressful so check this thing out it's the journey of 420 overhead guitar I'm gonna put the link down there in the description for you for those of you who are doing some holiday shopping now let's get started with a full demonstration of the tune I invite you to follow along using my tablature at patreon.com slash swift lessons let's get started I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Where the tree tops glisten And children listen Sleigh bells in the snow I'm dreaming of a white Christmas With every Christmas pie I write May your day be merry and bright Let them be bright And may all your Christmases be white I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Christmas card I write May your days be merry and bright Let them be bright And may all your Christmases be Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with my intro section. I'm playing this tune in the key of A, however, the last verse, we're going to have a key change up one half step to the key of B flat. Okay, our intro section is going to sound like this. Okay, breaking that down, we have the A major chord, barn, D string, G string, and B string. My pinky extended to the fifth fret, high E string. That's another A note. And I'm using kind of a hybrid picking sweep motion. So I grab the open A string. Then I'm gonna drag the pick across the D, G, and B string, and then pluck the high E string with my middle finger. I've always liked this technique. It's a great way to add a little bit of a flourish and a little bit of texture to your playing. Okay, from there we're going to descend down the high E string. G sharp, F sharp, and E. Okay, so fourth fret, second fret, and open E string. So far you have the A major chord. Okay, then we're gonna have two diminished chords in a row. All right, A sharp diminished, and also C sharp diminished. Okay, so. With this chord shape, I have the first fret of the A string, I have the second fret of the D string, the open G string, and also the second fret of the B string. I'm gonna use hybrid picking here. My pick is on the A string, and my middle finger is upstroking with kind of a paintbrush motion on the B string and the G string. Okay, I'm gonna 
pluck this next chord the exact same way. I've got the fourth fret of the A string, fifth fret of the D string. With my index finger, I've got the G string, third fret, and my pinky's here on the fifth fret of the B string. So I've got four, five, three, five. Okay, put those two chords together and we have. All right, back to the beginning of this intro section. Okay, creating a little bit of melody with chords. From there, we're going to B minor seven. We're gonna play. A little walk up there in the high E string. So the B minor seven, barring the second fret, fourth fret of the D string, and third fret of the B string. Use my pick, I have that same kind of sweep in motion. Dragging the pick across the A, D, G, and then with my middle finger, plucking the B string. Okay, so the B minor seven. Then we're gonna pluck the high E string by itself. All right, then with my pinky, fifth fret, then seventh fret. All right, once we've gotten that far, we're going to put together the chord B9. Okay, I've got the seventh fret of the D string, the eighth fret of the G string, with the bar, my index finger, the seventh fret of the B string, and then the high E string, ninth fret. Okay, so B9. From there, we're gonna go to a chord called E7 flat nine. Okay, with the root note on the low E string. So here I've got the sixth fret of the D string, seventh fret of the G string, sixth fret of the B, and the seventh fret of the high E string. Just a little zigzag shape, okay? You might think of this as being a G sharp diminished chord, but actually with this low E string in the bass, it's representing the five chord, the crescendo or turnaround chord in this key of A. Okay, put all that together and we have. Okay, then the whole intro real slow. Okay, very classic, very jazzy. This has a loose tempo, so be sure to put your own inflections into it. You can get creative with this section. Okay, excellent work, everybody. You have the intro section down. Now we're jumping into the first verse. I'm gonna perform this for you just instrumentally and at a slow tempo, then I'll break it down. One, two, three, four, and one, two. Okay, let's break that down. Okay, following along using your chord sheet and your tablature at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. We're getting started with the chord A major, and we're just gonna have an alternating bass note strum. Okay, so A strum, E strum. From there, we're gonna follow the melody. Okay, so my pinky went up to A sus four. Then back to A major, then A minor, and then back to A major. So far you have, I'm dreaming of a... Okay, next we have B minor seven. We could just strum it, but I'm gonna show you what I would play, throwing in a few extra tricks. Okay, so I hit the bass note, and then I strum with the pick. Grab the high E string with the middle finger, the B string, and then with my pick, grabbing the G string. Okay, that gets me ready for the E dominant seven chord where I'm gonna play. One more time real slow. Okay, so I hit the bass note of the E seven chord, 
Then I'm going to strum down. The pick is on the A string, the D string, then my middle finger plucks the G string as I hammer onto the first fret of the G string. Grab the high E string with the ring finger. All right, then strum down, down, up, as you add the pinky to the third fret of the B string, making it an E7 chord. It's a classic blues trick. Okay, that's line number one on your chord sheet. I dreaming of a white Christmas. Okay, now moving on to line number two. We're gonna have the D major chord, bass, strum, bass, strum. So D string, strum, A string, strum. Then E7, basically the same thing, but it's gonna be E string, strum, A string, strum. So kind of reversing the bass notes. Okay, from there we're gonna have a very jazzy chordal walk up, starting with A major. Okay, so the A chord got bass, strum with the pick. Then I'm gonna hit the open A string again to transition to the next chord, A sharp diminish, which you already learned in your intro section. Again, my middle finger's just doing a little flick on the B string and the G string upward. Same thing on B minor seven. All right, and then we're gonna go to E dominant seven. I like to hit some open strings. All right, then hit the root note. Okay, so. All right, so there's the technique on the E7 chord. It has a little bit of nuance to it. So it's an open strum, upward, bass, up, down, up. Okay, that's two lines of music there. I'm dreaming of a white. Just like the ones I used to know Strum, walk, up, down, up, down Okay, now moving on to line number three Where the treetops glisten and children listen It should sound like this real slow Where the treetops glisten Children listen. Okay, very simple. The A major chord, bass, strum, bass, strum. A single strum of an A7 chord. Bring it up to the fifth fret. Now I've got five and five on the D and the B strings. Then go down a fret. Now I've got fourth fret of the D string, third fret of the B string and then go back to the A7 shape, two and two. That's another classic blues trick. Okay, then we're gonna have two versions of the D chord. The D major chord. Bass, down, down, up, down, up. Then take your uh, ring finger, go up to the G string, third fret, and put your pinky on the third fret of the B string. This is called D augment it. Down, 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 up, down, up. Okay, it's a very intense chord. Uh, it's creating that tension just to kind of drive the progression forward. Okay, put all that together and we have Where the tree tops glisten Drag it around and chill Trend listen Okay, then we're gonna have line number four, which will sound like this. To hear sleigh bells in the snow and lick. Okay, breaking down this final line of music, we have the A major chord, bass, strum, bass, strum. I could just stay on that chord, but we're gonna follow the melody using some diminished chords and also that minor seven. So we're gonna have an A chord strum, a strum of the C sharp diminished chord, which you had in the intro section, a strum of the B minor seven, a strum of the A major chord, I'm just gonna bar it. Makes it easier for me to get to an E major chord where I can strum. Bass, down, down, 
down, up, down, up. And then throw in a descending lick here. Okay, so I slid up to the 13th fret of the G string, and then grab the 12th fret of the high E string, a little piece of that E major chord in the F shape. All right, bring that down a whole step. All right, so then I had G string, high E string, G string. Okay, then I switched positions here. I've got the ninth fret of the G string and the high E string. Double pluck, chromatic, down to the seventh fret. Okay, so nine, eight, seven. You put that whole lick together and we have. And resolves back to A major for verse number two. Okay, putting all of line four together, then we're gonna play the entire verse. So, to hear sleigh bells in the snow, down, down, up, down. I'm dreaming of a... Okay, now let's play through the entire first verse because we're going to be applying the exact same techniques almost verbatim to verse number two. The only thing that's gonna be different is the tail end where we're gonna set up a key change. Okay, so putting everything together from verse number one. One, two, three, four. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Okay, now taking a quick look at verse number two, then we're going to learn the exact same progression in the key of B flat. So just taking everything up one half step. Okay, so verse number two is going to be the exact same thing with slightly different lyrics. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write. May your days be merry and bright. So here on line number three, that's where things are gonna start to change. So we're gonna play. May your days be merry. We're still gonna drag it. And bright. The D major chord is the same, but now instead of going to D augmented, we're going to play D minor. Let it ring, let them be bright. Then, line number four, this is where we're going to set up our key change. Demonstrating that entire line is going to sound like this. Okay, let's break that down. Okay, breaking that down, we have the A major chord, bass strum. Then transition to F sharp minor seven. Okay, that was zero two on the low E string. Then with this F sharp minor seven chord, I'm barring across the D, G, and B second fret. I'm doing a little upstroke there with my hybrid picking. Do the same thing over a B dominant seven chord. Okay, use these chord diagrams up there in the top corner. For this chord, I'm playing 0-2 on the A string, and then doing an upstroke on the E string, B string, and G string with my middle finger. Okay, then to get to the E7 chord, we're gonna play up on some open strings, a downstroke on the low E string, up, down, up. Okay, just like we did in our previous section. Okay, so again, coming from the B7 to the E7, Just like that. You put all those chords together and we have A major. All right, then you're ready to change the key with. Okay, so for this walk up, I'm playing A major, bass strum. Now for this section, I'm choosing to use hybrid picking to double pluck strings. Bass, double pluck, B string, 
and also the D string. Same thing on the B minor 7, remembering to hit the A string first before I go to the root of that chord. I'm gonna do the same thing on a C sharp diminished. And then the same thing on a new chord, which is going to be F dominant 7. Okay, this is just a C7 chord shape. You might recognize that being brought up to the 6th fret position. Okay, F dominant 7. Okay, put all of line 4 of verse 2 together and we have our key change. It should sound like this. And may all Okay, if you have that, now you're ready to change keys to B flat, We're going on to verse three. Okay, fantastic work everybody. You have the intro and you also have verse one and verse two in the key of A down. Now you're ready to jump into our final section, learn the exact same progression that we had in verse two, but we're bringing it up one half step. It's gonna sound like this, starting from the key change. A one, two, three, four, and. Christmas, just like the ones I used to know. May your days be merry and bright. Let them be bright, and may all your Christmases be. nice jazzy lick. Okay, so as you can see, we're using this tune as kind of a vehicle to learn all kinds of cool chord voicings and also this jazzy lick. So in this section, we're getting started with the chord B flat major. All right, here's that bar chord, and of course I'm using the version of this chord where I'm using my ring finger to bar across the D, G, and B string. Okay, we're gonna start off hitting the root note, bass, strum, move the bass up to the E string, bass, strum, all right, then we're gonna have. Okay, so. So to do that, I'm just taking my pinky, grabbing the sus four chord, that's the fourth fret of the B string, then removing it back to just the regular major, then sliding this little piece of the chord, D, G, and B, down one half step, and then back into position. You put that together and we have, I'm dreaming of a. All right, from there we're going to C minor seven, where we're gonna perform a little hybrid picking. Okay, so this is very familiar to you. Hit the root note, drag the pick down, and then grab the high E string, B string, and then G string there with the pick. Okay, so far you have. I'm dreaming of a white. Okay, next go to F dominant seven. We're gonna play. A walk to E flat major. So the F dominant seven in that C shape, we're gonna play bass, and then we're gonna pull D string and B string. That's hybrid picking there. And then I'm just gonna strum, bring it down a half step, and then go to E flat major. Okay, once you've gotten here, we're going to play. Bass, strum, bass, strum. Switch to F dominant seven, bass, strum, bass, strum. Move in that bass note, or alternating from the A string to the E string. Okay, that will get you to B flat major in its sixth fret position, or the E position where we're gonna have a jazzy walk up. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, and then that will finish uh, line two of verse three. Okay, so that B flat major chord, we're gonna play bass strum. All right, then we're moving to B diminished. Okay, open E, seventh fret, and 
then I'm grabbing the B string, G string, and the D string. Pick and fingers. Okay, then move to really nice chord here. It's gonna be C minor seven. Same exact pick and technique, but now I've got the eighth frets of the E, D, G, and B strings. Okay, now after that, we're going to finish the walk up with F dominant seven. Open A, and then hitting the root note of that chord, the eighth fret of the A string. Just like that. You put that walk up together, and we have. Okay, very good. Now you have the first two lines of verse three in the key of B flat. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas just like the ones I used to know. That walk up. Okay, and of course you can mess around with your picking technique. Uh, I have very specific things that I like to do in terms of strumming versus hybrid picking and pulling the strings, but this can be done in a variety of different ways. Okay, now moving on to lines three and four of this verse, finishing up the tune. We're going to have the B flat major chord starting this line off. May your days be merry and bright. The E flat major chord and E flat minor. And I let that ring a little bit. Okay, so the B flat major chord, down, 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 up, down, up. Take the pinky off, down, down, E flat major, you're familiar with this chord shape. Down, 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 up, down, up. All right, then switch to the minor variety. Down, down, up, down, up. Of course, I like to get quieter with my strums there. Emphasizing the first strum of E flat minor for dynamics. And then nice soft strums to finish up that line. All right, now your final line of music, it's gonna sound like this. And may all Christmas be white. And then we're gonna throw in that jazzy lick. All right, and a very smooth uh, B flat major seven add 13 chord. Okay, so grab the sixth fret of the low E string with the pinky, and then the B string and G string of the third frets. Just a piece of that original B flat major chord, but just played with a different voice in. All right, then we're gonna play zero three on the low E string, and then grab a little bit of that G minor seven chord. Okay, then we're gonna play the C nine chord. All right, starting with the open A string, zero three, strum all the way through, slide it up. Now I'm on the seventh fret position with the index finger. I'm just gonna add one note the 10th fret of the high E string. All right, fantastic chord to kind of hit a crescendo on before resolving and getting yourself into that jazzy lick. You put all that together and you have, and may all your Christmases be white. All right, to finish the tune, I'm gonna grab with my thumb the low E string sixth fret, then I'm gonna play this jazzy lick. Okay, one more time, this lick sounds like this, very slow. Okay, very important to memorize the way a lick sounds before you tackle it. So hit the bass note, low E string, six fret. All right, then a hammer, B string, six up to eight, and then a slide six down to five on the high A. Then staircase the sixth fret and seventh frets, B string and G string. Okay, that's a staircase shape. So far you have. Keeping my pick alternating. Next I'm going to the eighth fret of the B string and then I'm gonna pull off down a whole step. Okay, so. Okay, then continue the staircase shape. G string seventh fret. All right, then an upstroke, the eighth fret of the D string. That's a good place to stop and practice.
Okay, then back to the B string, the G string, and the D string as you hold that staircase shape. So sixth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret. Then finishing up, we're going to the fifth fret of the D string, the eighth fret of the A string, and then setting up your B flat major seven, add 13 chord. Beautiful jazzy shape to resolve on. You put all that together and we have super slow. Okay, of course I like to hit the bass note first, then strum on that final chord. All right friends, thanks so much for checking out my arrangement of White Christmas, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a song that you would like for me to teach next, click on through the link in the description to swiftguitar.com slash request and put in your request now. Big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. Thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up, so keep checking in, please subscribe, please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.